In this video, we're going to look at creating a line of best fit in an Excel chart. I'm going to base my chart on this data. I have sales and highest temperature on the day. Is there a relationship between these two sets of data? Do I sell more ice creams as the temperature increases? Well, let's find out. First step would be to click somewhere in the data. Go to the insert tab on your ribbon. In the charts group, go to the scatter graph button. Click on that and then choose this first chart type, scatter. First thing I'd do is change the minimum value on the horizontal axis. To do that, double click on the horizontal axis. That'll bring up the format axis task pane on the right of your screen. Under axis options, change the minimum bounds value to 60. Press enter to confirm. To add a line of best fit, right click on one of the data points, go to add trend line. Now you can see your trend line or line of best fit on your graph. Up here, I'm going to change my title, sales versus temp. I want to show an equation for my trend line. I make sure it's selected. In the format trend line task pane, if I scroll down a little, I can see an option display equation on chart. If I tick that, it shows the equation for the trend line on my chart. Now I can move that equation if I select it and then place my mouse pointer over the border of the equation, you'll see you get a mouse pointer with four little arrows. If I hold down my left mouse button, I can drag the equation to a new position. I can also format the equation. If I go to the Home tab on my ribbon, I could, for example, increase the font size. Let's explore why this equation is useful. So on the left side of the equation, we have the Y value, and on the right side, we have the X value. So Y equals 0.2281X plus 2.4029. With this equation, I can input a Y value and calculate its corresponding X value. For example, let's put in a Y value of 20. And you can see that this little table automatically calculates the corresponding X value. With a temperature of 20 degrees, I expect to sell about 77 ice creams. Let's see how this equation works. A Y value of 20 equals 0.2281X plus 2.4029. First step would be to subtract 2.4029 from both sides of the equation. That leaves us with 17.59 equals 0.2281x. So the next step will be to divide both sides by 0.2281. That leaves 77.14 equaling x. If I use the forecast linear function, I could take this x value and calculate the corresponding y value just to see if this is working correctly. So the first argument is x, which we have in G4, comma, known y's, that would be all the temperatures in our data, comma, known x's would be all our sales values in our data. And then I close the bracket and press enter. You can see that it forecasts a y value of 20, which is what we have up here. Okay, hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.